So here we are in Reason with some really interesting looking synths on the left hand side of our rack here. Some rack extension based synthesizers and some stock synths you're probably more familiar with. And on the right hand side, your eyes don't deceive you, this isn't a new instrument in Reason. This is actually hardware right here in the studio. So why have I got both of these loaded up in the rack or showing in the rack at least? Well, we're going to be concentrating on software uh, with rack extension and stock instruments and also on hardware instruments because we're concentrating on the subject of MIDI in the next two hours across this course, MIDI in reason. And also we're going to be taking a look at the CV gate system, which we'll talk about in a second. But what I've got is pretty much every rack extension synthesizer, or at least the very popular ones, and the more complex ones. And also we're going to be looking at the stock synths, as I mentioned before. But we're going to be getting right into all the details of these. And the CV gate system is very, very important. It's very complex in some synthesizers, as we can see here in the Blamsoft Viking. And the Thor has got quite some pretty extensive CV gate features. But in other synths, like the Core Poly 6, you know, it's pretty slimmed down. But whatever way you look at it, it's an extremely important subject. And if you're serious about your MIDI in Reason, you should be serious about the CV gate system because it's incredibly powerful. And we're going to be showing you some really great tips and tricks and how to interconnect all the different devices in Reason using this system. And when it comes to the hardware, I've got a Moog Slim Fatty here and a Nord, uh, Nord Drum, Clavier Nord Drum. All this is going to be triggered by a Novation a Remote 49 SL Compact USB controller keyboard. And the whole thing is going through an Apogee Quartet interface. Now, if you think about it, that's four pieces of kit, um, five if you include the computer, um, the whole thing's run, running on a Mac Pro, but realistically, it's all controlled by reason. So these two synths have been chosen because you can see everything happening on the front panel. We're going to be looking at how to record controllers in the Moog, and we're going to be uh, triggering, triggering and sampling it. Talking of sampling, we're going to be sampling the Nord drum, and we're going to be uh, looking at how to how you can um, integrate the sounds from the Nord drum. This actually creates four different sounds. So if you really love the sounds you're getting out of it, we're going to transfer them from the hardware into Reason and map them out onto Kong's pads, amongst other things, and uh, actually sequence the sounds uh, from hardware. So really integrating and marrying the software and hardware world. So it's not a competition between the two, although the title of this tutorial might have led you to believe otherwise. It's about uh, amalgamating the two and marrying the two together and how Reason can now handle one just as well as the other. So we'll be looking at all aspects of that. But before we get into the, the details and the nitty gritty of these really important subjects, um, I wanted to help you set everything up and make sure that you're firing on all, all cylinders before we get stuck in. So that's what this first chapter is about. It's about getting you up and running correctly uh, and making sure that your preferences and your MIDI controller is set up perfectly uh, to make sure everything's triggered and to make sure you can control as much as possible, really. So that's what we're going to look at next. We'll look at the preferences quickly. And then the second chapter, we're going to get straight into the synths, the stock synths in Reason. And we'll, uh, we'll look at the power of Thor and Subtractor and the Combinators, amongst other things.